So in this video, we will learn how to do the keyword spotting using a Xiaomi ESP32 S3 Sense board and as impulse in which we can train our ML model and deploy onto our board to detect when a particular keyword is spoken. Yes. No. Yes. No. So hello everyone, this is Sachin Sony and you are watching the series of ML based projects and tutorial based on Edge Impulse and in our previous episode we covered what is machine learning and edge computing, later we learned how Edge Impulse works and how to use it for object detection using an ESP32 CAM board. So if you want to learn any of these topics or make sure you watch out the previous episode, the link is in the description. And today in this episode, we'll be learning how to do the keyword spotting and in the end, we'll be making our own project of controlling the LED through our own voice commands. So make sure you like the video right now and subscribe our channel to watch all the future episodes of this series. And with that being said, let us head on to our computer and train the model for it but after this short but very useful ad break. So this video is sponsored by LTM and we are all familiar with the secure collaborative design platform LTM 365. But let me tell you one of its really interesting features. So with the integration of Silicon Expert, now you can visualize all the important parameters of the components all in one place. Let me show you a quick demo. In LTM 365, just go to the manufacturing part search option. Here, you can search for any component you want to use. Just click on get data from Silicon Expert and it will pull all the crucial parameters of the components in one place. Below that, you'll also see a suggestions for alternative components along with the ratings on how well each one suits a direct replacement. Pretty interesting, right? And now if you're a student from India, well, LTM has launched LTM Student Lab where you can sign up with your university email ID to get access to LTM 365 online courses and can even get certification directly from LTM. And this will definitely help your resume to stand out and will give you a great boost in your design career. Well, I'll be linking away all the important links down to the description, so be sure to check them out. Okay, so first of all, we'll go to the website studio.edgeimpulse.com and here we'll click on create new project. Here I'll give the project the name as KWS, that's keyword spotting using Xiao S3 Sense. Great. Click on create new project and here first we'll go to the data acquisition and click on add data. Now this time what we'll be doing is we will be uh, capturing the data with the help of the Xiao S3 Sense itself and then we'll be uploading it for our for training our model. The reason being uh, we will be recognizing our voice using the same microphone. So why not to create the data set with the same microphone itself for better accuracy or better recognition. Okay. So now to collect the data from the Xiao S3 Sense itself, we do have this code which will help us to record our audio. I'll be providing this code down in the description of this video. So what we need to do is we just need to upload this code directly into the Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense board and it will help us to record the audio and save it into the SD card. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and as you can see it says fail to mount SD card. So first of all we will need to in uh, insert the SD card in it. So here I am using this 8GB SD card which I will insert it into this Sense board and now let's just reset this board. Okay, so now it says enter with the label name. So now here we need to write the name of the label. So I'm making a model for saying yes and no. For yes, I'll be turning on the LED and for no, I will be turning the LED off. So let's type the label as yes, enter. And now we need to type REC and later it will start recording our audio for 10 seconds. So what I'll be doing is I'll be saying yes for multiple times with the spaces in between for 10 seconds. Let me just show you the demo. So let's just press enter. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, recording stop. So it recorded my voice and stored it into the SD card. And I spoke yes with the uh, spaces in between so that I can trim that out later while training the model. And uh, as we know, the rule of machine learning is more the number of data, the more accurate your model will be. So I'll do this step for two to three times more. And now to re-record that same keyword, you just need to type the command REC. And again, it will start recording with the same label name which we have entered previously in my case it was yes so i'll press enter and start recording again yes yes 
five minutes later. Okay, so I'm done with recording the keyword yes for multiple times. So I just started this recording for six times. So I got 60 seconds of audio files stored in the SD card that has, uh, you know, the yes voice command for multiple times. Later, I'll show you how to trim that out. And now to enter another label for another keyword, what we need to do is we don't need to type REC, rather we need to type the name of that label. So after the yes, I'll type the label name as no. I'll press enter and it recognized it was a new label. And now if I type REC and press enter, it will start recording for label no. So let me do that step now. Press enter. No, 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 no. Cool. It recorded for 10 seconds and I'll repeat this step for four more files. So I'll again type REC and press enter to record it. And let's just skip this part of video as well. No. A few minutes later. Okay, so I'm done with recording 50 seconds of data for keyword no as well. And now we are still left with one more labeling, which is noise. Okay, so when we are not speaking yes or no, it should be detecting noise as the current state. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll type out the new keyword name, which is noise. Okay, as you can see, the label name is recognized by this uh, code. And now we'll type REC and we will let it record the ambient noise. So I'll press enter and I won't speak anything. Okay, so the noise was also recorded and I'll record this as well for multiple times. One eternity later. Okay, so I'm done with recording all the three labels. Yes, no, and the noise. And now what I'll do, I'll remove the USB cable and remove the SD card and insert it in my computer. And here, as you can see, we got the audio files for all the labels that we have inserted. And it is an audio file, which we can play it as well. Yes. Yes. So this was completely recorded by the microphone built on the Xiao S3 Sense board. So what I'll do, I'll just copy all this and move it into a new folder. And now we are good to go to upload this data into the Edge Impulse. So we'll go back to the Edge Impulse platform and here we'll click on upload data, select a folder and here I'll choose the folder which I have just created and click on upload button. Then just click on the upload data straight away. So after we successfully upload the data, just close this window and here as you can see, we got all our audio files. And as you can see, these files are of the length 10 second, which was provided in the code itself. But now we need to trim out just this keyword, which will be around one second. So what I'll do is I'll click on this three dot and click on split sample. Now this software will automatically recognize all the samples and here as you can see I set the segment uh, length as one uh, second which is 1000 milliseconds. Okay, so all the keywords are properly uh, recognized and now if I just click on the split button it will automatically split out the keyword no. Here you can check it by playing as well. No. As you can see, it was perfectly split out automatically. And similarly, I'll do this step for all the audio samples that we have recorded. And here, as you can see, sometimes the software may miss out our keyword. So to manually add that, you can click on add segment and just click on this part and you can drag it. And here it is. We have successfully split out all the keywords and click on the split button. One hour later. And now here, if I talk about the noise, then if I go to split sample in one of the noise audio file, I just need to randomly you know, add the segment because we need to just point out the noise or the ambient noise. Okay, so you can click select any of the part of that, uh, uh, you know, complete audio file, uh, but make sure it should be in the same 1000 millisecond or one second segment. Click on the split button. And sometimes this software may recognize uh, the noise as our keyword. For example, the last segment doesn't contain any of our keyword. So we can click on remove segment and even the first one doesn't contain any of the keywords. So you can click on remove segment. So that's how you can split it perfectly. And with this, I successfully split all the audio files in the training data set. Now we need to do the same step in the test data set. Now this uh, edge impulse automatically split out uh, the training data and test data in the ratio of 80-20. Okay. So let's just do 
do the same steps here for the test data set as well. Five minutes later. And with this, I'm done with splitting all the data set at the length of one second. And in total, we have one minute and 37 seconds of audio data, which we can fit to train our model. Now we can definitely add more number of like more data set to make more accurate model. But for demo purpose, I think this should be enough. Okay. So after adding the data, you can go to the create impulse section. Here, let's just keep everything as it is. Here, the window size is of 1000 milliseconds. That means one second. So it will not only recognize the audio uh, of one second. It will check whether it is a noise, yes or no. Okay. So let's just keep it as it is. Click on add processing block. And here you need to add the first one, audio MFCC. Then in the learning block, again, you need to add the first one, which is the classification. And after that, just click on the save impulse. After saving the impulse, you can go to MFCC. Here we'll keep all the parameters by default and click on the save parameter button and let us just click on generate features. A few minutes later. And here as you can see the job completed successfully. Later we'll go to the classifier. Here again we'll keep all the parameters as it is and just click on save and train. So this will train our model and let us know the results. Okay, so with this our model is successfully trained and we got the accuracy of 87.5% which is not that great. It should be more than 90% so maybe there is some mistake in some of the data set. As you can see this one is not properly recognized and this one also not properly recognized. But anyways, uh, let's try with this much accuracy. It should work with this much accuracy level as well. So after training the model now it's time to export the model for that you can go to the deployment option here we'll search for the deployment option as arduino library and later you just need to click on the build button and this will generate the model export it in the arduino ide files as you can see the zip file is already exported and now it's the time to upload the uh, model upload the code into our show board and test it out Okay, so after downloading that zip file for Arduino ID, you need to install it and for that just go to Arduino ID sketch, then into include library and then into add zip library. Now here just go to the downloads folder and select that zip file which you have just downloaded. And here as you can see the library is installed and to cross check that you can go to the files into examples then just scroll down and here you will see uh, the project name that you are given in my case it was kws shao s3 sense and then you can go to esp32 and you can go to esp32 microphone so this is kind of a ready code provided from the edge impulse itself but when i tried this code it was having some error so i tried the code from seed studio and it kind of worked completely fine Okay, so let me just open that code. Okay, so here is the code uh, provided from by the Seed Studio. And here in this code, you just need to do one single change, which is you need to change the name of the library. So uh, how to do that, let me show you. So this was the original code, uh, which I downloaded right now from the Edge Impulse. And you just need to copy the first line of it or the first library line of it. So just copy it and paste it here and that's the only change that you need to do in this code rest of all the code will remain as it is so let me uh, show you how am i controlling the led based upon the voice command so i'll just scroll uh, below and here inside the loop section we are able to uh, see all the data coming from the uh, what you can say shout board okay so it will first of all recognize the audio so it will start sampling the audio every second and based upon the data based upon the training data or model that we have given it will classify whether it was a yes no or it was noise okay so every uh, label is given a specific number so in this particular model the no is given the number zero the noise is given the number one and the yes is given the number two so based on these three numbers what am i doing is in case if the number is zero that means the recognized keyword was no and if the prediction value is more than 0 0.8 that means 80 percent okay then what I'm doing is I'm just turning off the built in LED and just printing on the serial monitor as LED off. Now I have written high here because the built in LED is the active low LED. Okay. Later, if the prediction index is two, that means the keyword detected is of yes. And if the prediction value is greater than 0.8 or let's say 80%, I'm just turning on the LED and also printing on the serial monitor as LED on. So that's the basic code which I have written here. And now let's try to upload it and test out the code and our trained model as well. And before uploading the code, let me tell you that here I'm using the ESP32 boards package version 2.0.1 
one six. So make sure you have the same version. I have tested in this version, it's working fine. Okay, so let's select the right board and com port, which is already selected, and let's just hit the upload button. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded, and now let's just open the serial monitor. Here, let me just reset this board, and we started getting the response on the serial monitor. stop the scroll and here as you can see the highest predicted value is of the noise so 0 0.8 0 0.78 0 0.88 0 0.86 and that's kind of true as well because currently we are not speaking yes or no so obviously the uh, label noise will get the highest prediction value let's turn on the scroll and now let's test it out whether it recognizes the keyword yes or no or not and let's just turn on the uh, camera on my smartphone to see if the LED is turning on or not yes no yes no yes no yes no Okay, so the yes and no keyword were perfectly spotted by the Xiao S3 Sense board. That means our model was trained perfectly fine and it is working as well on our Xiao board. But here, only problem which I found is we need to speak in the particular time frame, and in that time frame only it will sense whether uh, yes was spoken, no was spoken, or whether it was just an ambient noise. Okay, after that, it will go into the classification segment, and during that time, you speak anything, it won't be recognized. Okay, so that is a particular time period during which you need to speak out and then and then only it will get recognized that's the only negative point which i found but here if anyone of you watching this video knows the solution of it like how we can make it to listen continuously like whenever i speak that particular command it gets recognized immediately if anyone knows the solution about how to do it with the show boards well don't uh, let me know the solution down in the comment segment and yes if that uh, solution is really useful, I'll try to make a video out of that as well. Definitely give me the credits. So that was all about the second episode of our machine learning series using Edge Impulse. Well, do share your thoughts and in case if you try out this project, well, do share your experience down in the comments of the video. And also let me know what next topic we should cover under machine learning or what next project we should try it out. Share your thoughts in the comment and maybe we can make up the video for that as well in the upcoming episode of the series. And yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me. Jackie SMS.